Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Couple Heroes 1 replay. Spawn on the left side as the US player of Death Machine. Spawning on, on the, his teammate as the British, we have Omega Ghoul... Omega... OMG U... Ah, now I realize it's not... It's... OMG You Like a Noob. Spawn on his teammate as the Panzer Elite player, we have March of Fools. And his teammate as the Panzer Elite player, we have Integral Wooltech. We got a immediate logistics company, and for him, he is just going down south with the Petengrads. So I'm gonna go out for an early 222, or not not 222, 221, in order to help get some of these increased income. I'm guessing. Shut your cops and listen. And scope rifle is starting making his way forward. It does have, of course, no lieutenant support this force here, and I just realized something. We got a support weapon center here with a 30 cal, because I was sort of highlighting, and all of a sudden I managed to find like the one the secret buttons on the screen. Like if I remember correctly, it's like some secret buttons here and there. But either way, we do have a 30 cal, no rifleman. The British truck has not packed on up, and that's likely a lieutenant or Bren carrier, one of the two. Engineers start making their way forward, capturing some points. Scope rifles charging on forward. They will find. Looks like he's ping saying cap something, maybe saying cap the. I'm not sure what he's saying, saying about capping. G43 squad down south engaging the scoped rifles, but only a handful of scope rifles actually firing. One of them is still not fighting. 30 cal pushes his way forward as well and needs to find a better position than an open field, but he's setting up an open field. Second 30 cal has employed and now he's like to go for some snipers after that point. And getting a 30 cal next to the G, uh, whatever his teammate deploys out his HQ would be a good idea as well. Run carrier making his advance. Going to mix up all of this stuff. This is the one without the scope rifles. Sable get in and immediately buttons the Ketten Grad. He really wants the Ketten Grad down and gets annihilated there. Unit down. This Pencil Lee player needs to fall back, getting overwhelmed, getting 2v1s, not going to be a great position. Engineers do find the other Ketten Grad and start slowly gunning away at it. Getting some good damage there. Now we've got the 221 now advancing, and he's going to be captured at the point itself. But he can't fire his gun while capping. And engineers could get some good damage on the rear armor. I say that, and the damage output's still horrible. Frank here making an advance. Forcing back to the third Panzer Grand Deer squad. We got this Volkswagen pushing his way forward. Maybe trying to either. Sneak down here to get some income. Couldn't make his way over the side of the map here to get some fuel income. We got the British headquarters truck right here trying to deploy on out. Very, very far forward with the support of his teammates. 30 cows. He should be able to keep that area secure for the time being. Until mortar half tracks are coming out. US 30 cal set up right there. He does go ahead and set up the Funk Wagen to siphon all the resources. That is actually improved by the British HQ command truck. The Funk Wagen is falling on back now. Panzer Grenadier is pushing his way forward. He, his teammate also set in a Panzer Grenadier over here as the Bren Carrier could get gunned down. There's a lot of forces here. Second G43 has to point out, and the Bren Carrier still has plenty of health. 30 cal has set up a very forward position. Very good. Enemy unit down. Enemy unit down. I think that's a down Ketten Grad right there. Funk Froggen still patrolling around. It says something in the sector here, but that's not a uh, resource sector. And we've got the 221 upgraded to 223 and improving the fuel income here. And now the Panzer Grenadiers push his way forward. Brown hasn't really a whole lot into the fight. We do have now a 2 to 2 deployed out by Brown, so he has got a nice little armored vehicle. I think he has one Panzer Grenadier as well, so it's mostly a mechanized and motorized force right now. 
scope rifles will need to fall back, so does the regular rifles. Does use a button there with the Bren carrier. With the G43s in this region, he won't be able to stay around for all too much longer. They're both suppressed. They're still suppressed. G4, when the G43 squads are, do fall back, the 2 2 should be out of uh, button very soon. Could push on forward once again. And does manage to body block the Bren Carrier right there. Getting some great damage on the Bren Carrier. It's going to be gunned down no problem. Damaged engine and goes down. Landmines deployed on there. Out right there. We've got another MJ-42 here. Or not MJ-42, 30 cal. So he has three 30... What? No snipers. Five 30 cows. Holy crap. Uh, that backup failed. Maybe I'm... I don't know exactly what he's saying at the moment. My apologies. 30 cal to board right there. Thirty cal getting overwhelmed. This thirty cal is in the building. He could finish use arm piercing rounds. Yes, he is using arm piercing rounds right there. You can see the damage output. Enemy unit down. Thirty cal here make a gun down. Does get gun down there. Luftwaffe fourth ground squad has employed as well. So it looks like we do have a doctrinal lock in. Both is stalled out for his Luftwaffe doctrine. Up north we do have the thirty cal engaging the MG 42s. Well, not MG 42, G 43 squad. I don't think the British player is not exactly too thrilled with his uh, teammates' 30 cal spam. G43 squad will get displaced. And, oh, found a landmine right there. Almost gets wiped out by it. Lafoss squad managed to fall back. We've got two 2-2s two -two here. With the amount of 2 to 2s out on the field, it may be a good idea. Oh, got a Goliath in the mix as well. He needs a back away. It's. He may lose a lot there. He could pursue it some more, but the 30 cal is here to protect him. Oh, we've got four man squad upgrades as well. So, he's... so his teammate has gone for four man squads. Goliath pairs had exploded. And finds a landmine there. Very good landmine. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, a bow for some placement wouldn't be half bad in order to engage the tattoos from advancing. Something to be pulled out there. Could be a martyr or the martyr upgrade. We've got Camp Roof Company, likely for Panzer Shrex. Our supply lines are being threatened. Another 30 cal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30 cows. We do have a regular MG emplacement here. Why do you why are you deploying an MG emplacement? There is literally a 30 cal from the team right there. Belts, like I can see a bow first because they're more effective versus light vehicles, but why a 30 cal emplacement? Take a quick look at the allies composition. There's 30 cows everywhere. Like, cow squad here. Right. This is basically Company Rose 2 sometimes, but this is not Company Rose 2, this is Company Rose 1. 30 cal emplacement there is a horrendous idea. His teammate has played 30 cows in the region, doing a good job of landmines, that's for sure. We've got a martyr here, ready to siege down the truck, but it will be very useful to siege down the armored, uh, the, uh, Vickers emplacement. Goliath will find an angle there and deletes the what's it called the crater there as a unique superpower martyr receiving some armor piercing rounds Goliath is in the mix of everything and he could just keep it there let it blow up naturally it does take out the trial center very nice and it was one casually away from getting a free intersection Thirty cal does get the crew there. We do got the two two to two style to put on the field.
And we got a another the 30 cal is engaging once again. Maybe get some armor pierce around. Does use a button vehicle ability there with the friends. The football forces do get suppressed there. The armor pierce rounds cars written guard the funk bogan. Funk Morgan does go down. The Luftwaffe forces here. Oh, lost uh, 30 cal. Not big surprise. 30 cal went down right there. They may have been senior grenade. There's also a landmine here. Mine's a landmine. And we've got more infantry squads to way forward. Actually, it was seven, if not eight. Yes. A lot of 30 cows. There's more. There's been more 30 cows. Because a couple of them have gone down. At this point, with seeing all the 30 cows, he really should deploy out some mortar half tracks. Umos would be a good option for either of the Panzer League players, but we do know one of them has gone for Luftwaffe forces, so hopefully the other one has gone for Scorched Earth. Oh, I hear another landmine detonation there. Does lose a 30 cal. And does... Actually, that landmine got no engine damage there. Huh. PS now making the way forward with the support of some more sappers. They may be upgrading with PS as well. And we've got Armor Company there. Does take a little fall forces here. Let's switch over to Brit. Unknown Doctrine selected. Of course, we know about the low fall forces. And there's an unknown Doctrine selected here. Likely Scorched Earth, I'm guessing. Go to calculate some good damage there on the Martyr. Piet's making their advance. On the right side, we got a 30 cal engaging these forces. Forcing back all of these forces, but we got a mortar half track finally. Oh, you got this 30 cal here as well. This one was actually picked up by the Brits. He does get decrewed there. Uh, he's not repairing it, so it's likely not Tank Hunter. Uh, do we see? Oh, yep, we got uh, booby traps here, so it is Scorched Earth. The only thing that's unknown is the Brits. Does reclaim the 30 cal there with their infantry section. We do have a bow for some placement here, which I do agree. 30 cal is nice and all. The figure's placement was horrible. Uh, is it getting any AT? Uh, does M10s count as AT? <laughs> A lot of 30 cals on the one last model. And I heard CS can now call an artillery, so now looks like he's gone for Royal Artillery. Yes, yeah, we built the true casualty clearing station, gave much needed healing. You got more booby traps being deployed on out. Two patch trucks, two G43s. This is the one who's gone for Scorched Earth, so no extra Panzer trucks possible. And he has actually fully built this trench, which does make sense. It's pretty well protected by the other emplacements and allows them to quickly get inside if needed. The scope rifles is making a way forward, but getting way outnumbered, way overwhelmed. There's also a landmine here. These uh, scope rifles are getting ripped apart. They get sacrificed. Wait a second. Okay, some things are captured MG guns. There's, of course, the two starting out pickers place with the one he built. So there's two captured MGs for the Brit. Those are the Panzer Grandiers. Do pick up the MG for the capture, the 30 cal, and thinks he's went for the four-man squads. He's actually able to capture that. That maybe one reason why he got the four-man squad. Claim these MGs for his own purposes. He gets on all running, pushing the way forward, forcing back the mortar half track. We got a vet three. 2-2 two two here, and does take up the mortar half-track. M10 start making its way forward. And it got a reformed 
uh, infantry section squad can capture clearing station. A lot of efficiency on these 30 on these uh, two to twos. Probably bump the 30 cows. Two M10s in the mix, everything, and somehow reason my frame rate just died. Three M10s in the mix. Martyr getting overwhelmed. You got some pen tricks here as well. This one is back in the corner. We've got field repair being activated. Yep. Good hits there. These horses start to make their way back. Frame rate still dying for some odd reason. Booby trap has been selected. It may have been the Flak Irvings, honestly. The Flak Irvings just all the rounds bouncing around. Because once I looked away, that fixed the frame rate. British 30 cal. Captured 30 cal. Is now firing some suppression there. We got the Creeper Barrage ability now available. The Category does decapture that point. We got the N10s now in pursuit. And they do not get any crushes off right there. Gets make it some shots off, but make it some friendly fire damage in as well. And now we've got sector artillery now raining on in here. So, so, so the person, the sports sword player has gone straight for sector artillery. Unit and also the Ketting Grant does go down. Another M10 being deployed on out. Brown still has a fresh martyr. Actually, that martyr's not fresh, has three kills. The so, 2 is still very much alive. And trying to hunt down that's 30 cal. I'm not sure how many 30 cals remain for the US player, but the answer is probably not a whole lot. I see potentially two. Yeah, it appears to just be two. One of them is basically dead. Two will go ahead and blitz on out of there. Martyr looks like trying to destroy some of these hedges. Has one field support, doesn't have the armor command truck just yet. Does uh scuttle that trench? The Bofors did go down one engagements. Boom trap has been triggered. That 30 cal is dead. Yep. And Alice laid down by a Ketten Grad. The light Ketten Grad. He do have support of a nearby lieutenant. Orders. Oh, Piet's do go ahead and rain on in everywhere. Piet's do get some good good hits there onto that 2-2-2, two, 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 but got the Pantorineers now advanced forward. Great time for some officer artillery. They just have enough missions for it, looks like. The British forces do fall back. Three squads of Piet's, one squad of Bren's. Or M10s now have been put out on the field. Black Irving has been put out. That is the line meant to get out the black guns. Looks like he's probably going to go straight for the Flak 88s. Against the amount of M10s they have, Flak 88s would be pretty good, as well as siege down the HQ itself. Martyr. Multiple martyrs have been put out by Brown. Interesting. Pentagrad has been rebuilt. And these Pentagrad just have seriously quite a bit of fire. They need to fall back relatively soon. Piet's getting some great damage in. Yep, and now he starts disintegrating. Got too low on health. 30 cal will go ahead and su suppress and perhaps wipe out this en engineer squad. And does wipe out the engineer squad after capturing up that point. Now allow the Brits to sprint forward or jog forward. And 30 cal will fall back. M10 makes way forward. You got a 30 or M10 up here. Not damaged, but it's quite wounded. Two of the models are halt set up. This M10 is getting a nice flank, but it's one shot away from death. 
main gun destroyed there. Needs to make sure the other ones rotate around. He's forcing it to rotate around, getting good hit there. He can leave that one with the short gun alone unless his field repairs up. Destroy the engine as well. Now's a great time for field repairs. We've got the sector artillery now raining on in. Petrograd is coming forward to test spot for Brown. That's the Luftwaffe forces. And it looks like the sector artillery takes out his own Kettengrad. Or his teammates Kettengrad. Oops. N10 is now charging forward, trying to engage the base. Black Irving will go down. And here, again, in this area, it's stuff the Black Irving that caused a lot of uh, lag spikes. Does take that out. That you only got one of the intents recovered by the few Allied war machine. So they may have stalled, stalled long enough for to getting only one uh, replaced. We do have a 70 pounder here, which would be great versus the Martyrs. We've got these four M10s, fifth M10, so M50s. This is how the numbers work, right? Multiplication. And we've also got some butterfly bombs on the flank. It's a bit of a bad position, I would say. Right here would be a bit better, but that will hit infantry that's trying to skirt around the building. Unlikely a vehicle hit that, but it would be even hard for infantry to hit that as well. Two lieutenants are here to support these forces. Try to go for a booby trap there, was unsuccessful. And that sector artillery got direct hit there, that may have been a skull full squad wipe. Yep, a PS squad went down right there. And that's why you don't really want to blob, even though the Brits. This is one point with Brits. The left tents, how the left tents work in advance to enemy territory. Basically forces you to blob. Yeah, I suppose it was, but maybe it was that it hit a guy. It was targeting a guy there, and a scatter went out of the sector. The stuff, it, the sector artillery is not pinpoint accurate. It does have scatter. So one guy entered the sector. That one model gets targeted, and and it flew and it flew wide and out of the sector. Sping which that was a pretty good hit there by the twenty five pounders. I'll say the biggest thing with Plum's Sector Artillery, it just lasts for so long. Priest is at the RV grid. One priest? Turn. No, that priest got a really good hit there. Eight kills, one shot. Pretty good. And that might have not been one shot, that probably cost multiple shots, but still. Could see some buttons there onto the Flak Irvings, or the Flak Over Ones, which have Flak Irvings as a gun. Getting some good hits there with the Piets now. Luftwaffe forces, ground forces need to fall back. The Valerie get wiped out. They do get wiped out. Booby Trap has been triggered. No response. And it, it can do some good more and more work. This uh, follow up explosions could. Nope. No additional follow up explosions. Scope Rifle Squad gets wiped out, was left out to dry. Three M10s here and three M10s here. It sounds like a Overwatch Barrage is now available for the Brit. So Trent tried to beat the boy on the front line, was unsuccessful. Stealth Cat and Grad here, which will spot this M10. There's seven M10s now on the field. The US player is just going for M10 spam. First 30 cal spam, then M10 spam. He must really enjoy his fish. Spam is fish, right? Or is that a bolt or a pig? Honestly, I don't know at this point in time. I know it's junk meat, that's for sure. 
Yes, yeah, not fish. It's like baloney, yep, but what animal does it come from? Mortar hits now raining on in. Got also artillery right here. It is pork. Alright. I don't know why. I always associate spam with ocean. I don't know why. A lot of junk beats like hot dogs, sausages, bologna. They're all junk meat. Ground beef. Here's some digging there. It's just the slit trench there not being built. Yeah, it's not bad. People have negative connotation with it, but it's also not bad. I mean, if you like bologna, you probably like that. If you like hot dogs, you probably like spam. Honestly, a lot of things fried doesn't taste half bad. Tofu, fried tofu is not bad either. In the States, we have some people made fried butter balls. <laughs> we will fry anything. Good damage there onto the M10s of the Panzer Shreks. And does use uh, field repairs there. That may be a creeping barrage. Yeah, I never think of soy spam, but yeah, that makes sort of sense. It is just soy. Processed soy? Creeping Barrage has been largely dodged. We do got the Mortar Half Track avoiding the fire as well. Slit Trench is almost destroyed. Does get destroyed by the STGs. 70 Pounder could get some good hits there on the 222s. On the 222s. Yeah, both above Vet 2. M10's now received some bold action rifle fire. There's a two Grand Tracks in the mix of it. Does receive a hit there. It does utilize utilize field repairs there to make sure that stuff stays alive. These M10s are still spotted by the Kitten Grand, which is quite important. We got the Priest Barrage now coming on in. Both got the Captain and Lieutenant as well. And looks got a Creeping Barrage, another Creeping Barrage there, forcing back the Panthers and Panzer Grenadiers. I think Yellow may have lost some of his Panzer Grenadiers through the barrage in the back line. Or through the barrage on the front line. Let's switch over to him. Yep, he lost one of his at least one of his Panzer Grenadiers. Captured 30 cal. It's making its way forward once again. Yep. He's only, we've only ever seen three units from him. 30 cal, M10s, and engineers. That's literally it. We may see some Calliopes. That's usually part of a spam. And holy cow, many M10s are there. He, he he only has M10s. He doesn't have 30 cows anymore. He doesn't have engineers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine <laughs> M10s. Trying to take our territory. Oh wait, is there a 10 now? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he has nine M10s. They're hitting one of our forward He's got enough for crew repairs and allied war machine. Yeah, he has 400. What the hell? There's the 10th M10. So he has a hunt M100. That's enough M10s to take out Panthers, even from the front, likely. One of them goes out of control. These. Pantrick squad gets crushed and have put a micro and hide the crit uh, to retreat it back. He still has all of his intense global repairs have been activated. At this point, he's probably not. And he's approaching enough resources to get another M10. He's probably. I see 10 M10s, 60 population. So it looks like it's like six population each, so he doesn't have enough population room for another M10. Kennegrad does potentially get, will get spotted. As he's just trying to rotate over. 
He doesn't realize he actually spotted Captain Grad there. Now you realize he has. Good luck trying to run away from that. 25 pounders getting some good hits there. Perhaps took out a Panzer Grenadier. Oh no, he built an engineer. <laughs> to be fair, the Captain Grad's very sneaky. It's hard to kill a stealth Captain Grad when you don't have a Jeep nearby to spot it. Scope rifles that can that do easily can spot it like a Jeep. And a 30 cal emplacement is doing some good work as well. We do have the Armor Command truck finally for the Brit. Though so honestly, he doesn't need Fireflies. Going for Cromwell's stat counts or even uh, Kangaroos wouldn't be half bad to complement his teammate's uh, composition. Look at this as well. We got four Martyrs. He really should have played off Flak 88 at this point in time. Flak, a single Flak 88 would be great against the M10s. But the four martyr, martyrs could do some good work versus the M10s, but against this number of M10s, I have no idea. Martyrs and M10s work well in groups, but who wins in a group versus group, I have no idea. There's some butterfly bombs which these M10s can find. This Ketengrad is pushing forward once again, fresh Ketengrad. He's getting ready to start, uh, and start making the way forward. He still has 10 M10s alive. Or not dead. One of two. Pants at least needs double Panzer Shreks. The plane overwatch and the planes of watch ability. But they can't get the double Panzer Shrek upgrade because neither of them are tank hunter. They're scorched earth and blow off ground forces. That's why I recommend a Flak 88 at this point in time. But the, oh, the Flak 88, yeah, the HS129B3 overwatch is a good idea as well. There goes a a uh, infantry section, probably to a Hummel. Three of the martyrs have set on up. Ken and Grant's camouflage, able to spot all this stuff, which is very important. And the flak Irvings absorb some shots through the M10s for the martyrs. It's actually a good idea because they're more durable than the martyrs. Let's switch over to through the He does not have the over plane overwatch ability, the air support for the HS129 B3s. Does the crew the uh 70 pounder with the AT grenade actually? A cinder grenade which is thrown there. And Patrick to finish off the 17 pounder. Yep. But well, honestly, these engines need to be a bit more aggressive. He's using the streak and run now. He should have done it in the next engagement, not while his opponent can still run away from this region. We are losing a sector. Those slides of global repairs. Now, now that ability has been activated, now he can know he can sit more safely charge in. How many M10s are there now? That seems like more than 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's still ten. He lost the engineer. The two, two, two twos. Two twos do have the spot area spotted. Very nice semantic spot there. And tens now charging forward. The martyrs, they don't really want to take time to pack up and and take time to sit back up, but he can easily pencil it in. The scout car will get overwhelmed. Yep. Like right now, he's has two groups now. The one of the Mars have packed on up. The Black Irvings needs to stay around these infantry. Ooh, one of the uh, butterfly bombs got immobilizing crit on the M10s. Now here comes the time for it. Global repairs and fuse and uh, Allied war machine has been activated. 
SS129 B3 is now coming in as well. Looks like that ability managed to get off cooldown. And it's charging forward as well, getting some more hits in. N10 does go down there. Multiple N10s game main guns are destroyed. Both of them are going down. It's hard to say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And tens are just, a lot of these are severely wounded. Main gun destroyed on, on these martyrs. Next loiter, a straight run coming on in. Humo could get focused down. down one tank destroyer. And we've got four severely wounded and tens managed to escape out of the fight, and two of them got replaced. And no, another one does go down there to a butterfly bomb, I believe. Enemy unit down. Yellow's now to pull out some Panthers, which can finish off the rest of these guys that are still in the region. Fresh M10 has been deployed on out. 2-2s even can pose a threat to the rear armor sometimes. I really don't know. Try and get a pen there. Try and focus on this M10 that's does take that one out. There's got a wounded here as well. But no, the HS129 B3 does take that one out. Down one, tank destroyer. one, two, three, four, five, six M10s are out on the field. He has enough resources for another, I believe. Yeah, the Pants Leaf players do not have a whole lot of tickets remaining. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of missions remaining, but he does need to use a field repair for, well, for repairs on the field. Panther's not making the way forward. Brown has his two Flak Irvings and his 2 2 2, so a lot of anti infantry to support his teammates' Panthers. 70 pounders being rebuilt. Another M10 has been deployed on L. And one of the Panthers getting wiped out right there. Field repairs have been activated, but he needs to get his other M10s back to fight. He has seven right now on the field. And both Panthers have gone down. I don't think the Panzer League players can get back in the game. These uh, M10s are very, very bunched up. Right now, there's six M10s remaining, all of them wounded. Fumo's getting overran. Black Irving's getting focused down. Switch over to the Panzer League players. Let's see. Not a whole lot of manpower. Or a lot remaining. Fresh Martyr, not doing a good job. Right here, not a whole lot of manpower either. Uh, Priest getting good hits there on his teammates' M10s. Intense are now falling on back. As a lot of uh, SG equipped Panzer Grandeers. But that's about it. They don't have anything to take on these M10s. Another M10 does go out of control. But yeah, that's the end of the game. That's Anagrade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.